Hello YouTube friends. Today I am going to talk about the search for the freshwater seahorse. Most of you probably realize that seahorses are saltwater fish. They are found in the ocean. And if you've kept saltwater fish or marine aquariums, you know that they are much more complex than keeping freshwater aquariums. So if there were such a thing as a freshwater seahorse, that would be a dream come true for some people who aren't interested in developing a deep knowledge of marine aquaria. This idea that a freshwater seahorse existed stemmed from a 1916 article in a publication called Museum National d'Histoire Naturelle. Two specimens were donated to the museum. They are reported to be caught by a medical officer who found them in the Mekong River in 1910 near the Camaret Rapids. They were named Hippocampus ame after their discoverer. The two specimens did look a bit different from each other, but they were believed to be the same species since they were found in the same area. And the differences are accounted for by believing one was a male and one was a female. Because of this donation, the museum wanted to perform geological excavations in the area to find more evidence of freshwater seahorses. The area had once had marine origins, so they thought it wasn't that unlikely that they could find more seahorses in the area that just over time eventually converted to fresh water. However, there is no further information after this time period about the existence of freshwater seahorses. The hopes of finding them continued into the 1960s, as we can see documented in Mildred Bellamy's book, Encyclopedia of Seahorses. She makes a reference to the fact that as far as she knows, there are only marine seahorses that exist, even though she is aware of rumors that freshwater seahorses had been found. So to this day, here we are in the 2000s, there has been no more discussion of freshwater seahorses. I don't know what that means about the original findings, um, how things were documented back in the early 1900s, but for right now, if you want to have a seahorse, you're going to have to learn how to take care of a saltwater aquarium. I hope you found this topic interesting. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you here with me. Take care.